Hey there, YouTubes. This is a new purse I just made for uh, my wife. All the purses that I've made, it's really, it's my wife's idea. She tells me some things she likes, I make them, and then I'm gonna sell them. I don't do as well being creative with purses, but anyway, this is a new one that I'm getting ready to offer. Uh, that you can find this on my website or you can reach out to me if you'd like to order one. This is a new leather. This is a copper. This Here's a journal in the same leather. The lighting's not real great right here. But this is a copper leather. This is the same. Uh, this leather comes from the tannery that makes red wing boots. They have their own leather tannery and uh, it's called SB Foot if you're just curious. And then so that's this leather here that I'm that I'm carrying and you can notice in this leather I love okay so one of the things I really like about leather is character that it develops and how it ages and how it changes over time and you'll notice a lot of these fat wrinkles here in these pieces of leather and you're going to get some of that variation slight color variation in this copper and some of the fat wrinkles in the hide of the animal let's go over this is I, I apologize for the camera angle it's not a good angle but the dimensions of this bag it's the same as the other bag the other purses that i sell it's um it is 12 it is 12 inches by six inches so it's six six inches this way and it is 10 inches tall so it is 10 inches tall you get a uh, pocket on the back there's a little patch with the logo there zoom in for you a little patch with the logo there uh, this is a so you have the strap that's uh, riveted you have the flap on the top here that pops open and you have the magnet clasp with another pocket on the inside and then other than that it's just a big open space and this is already unlike the vegetable tan leather purses that I sell this one comes already uh, you know moldable it, you can move it around this bag um, the way this is constructed it's similar to the other purses in that this is one great big piece of leather it's not the most cost-effective way to make a purse on my end because I, it just does a lot, it has a lot of waste. And what I mean is you, you have, when I cut this, this is a great, I can't even get it all in the frame here, but you have one great big piece of leather that runs all the way down and it goes underneath here. And so you got more leather that's coming down this way. And then you have leather that's coming all the way out that direction. So it's this great big like T shape almost and uh, so it's one big piece and then I fold it of course I construct this completely inside out uh, so I have to construct it inside out and then I stitch it everything's hand stitched here so all the rivets that you see here in the purse these are hand uh, hand done rivets all this stitching here I'm using new thread this is what's called tiger tiger thread it's polyester it is expensive thread but it is the strongest thread that you can get it is the best it looks really great and it's just extremely strong so I, I use tiger thread on all my, my journals wallets everything now and, and this purse here and the construction on the inside you'll notice around here this is all tiger thread on the inside here so this is a this is a purse that takes me roughly it takes me roughly eight hours whoops it takes me roughly eight hours to construct this purse it, it, that one and and the other let me show you let me grab this this is my wife's purse this is the first one i ever made about a year and a half or so ago this let me show you what it looked like kind of before so here's one that i just made this is a vegetable tan it has some cowhide on here uh, this one's for sale if you want it message me be happy to sell it to you but this is a calf this is a calf uh, furry whatever but anyway this is the same purse and it's vegetable tan leather and it is rather listen it's rather see if you can hear it's kind of, well, it's kind of hard to hear but it's it's rather stiff when you first get it same thing pocket on the inside pocket on the outside rivet everything's hand done this one's hand dyed by me i hand dyed this uh, piece of leather rivet everything hand done on this one as well so when you first get one of the vegetable tan 
uh, purses like this. It comes a little bit stiff, uh, but then my wife used this every day for a year and a half. She's got it's filled with a bunch of stuff. I don't want stuff to dump out. I don't do this anymore. <laughs> that was a one-time deal. But anyway, notice her purse now. I mean, it's like it breaks in so 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 well. I mean, it's just like this big wadded up uh, thing now, and that's because she has literally carried this every single day since the day that I made it. It was stiff like the other one I showed you, but now it's a little bit more floppy. Like this one comes right out of the right out of the box. This leather is a chrome tanned leather, so it comes already pretty flexible and it has a bit of a waxy. This is what's called an oil tanned leather, so it comes a little bit uh, weather resistant. You got a lot of that weather resistance uh, that comes with it. And the, uh, here's, you can look at this kind of golden underside it feels like uh, uh the underside feels like a suede feeling it's just the flesh side of the of the um hide there so anyway if you have any questions please leave a comment below i'd be happy to get back with you if you're interested in buying one of these please feel free to reach out or check out the website have a good day and god bless